Toast. Toast. You know, ever since Mission Impossible, that's how I check my mic levels. <laughs> hey guys, I feel like it's been a really long time since I've been able to make one of these videos. And actually, when I think about it, it has been since Halloween night since I've been able to actually get out an image. But it's not like I haven't been trying. It just seems like every time I've tried to get out and I'd set up, the clouds would move right in. I don't know, I just thought it was funny that I was like, oh man, I'm gonna rush out here and, you know, it's been a couple hours and, nope, ain't gonna happen. <laughs> and then winter came, it snowed and snowed and snowed and we actually got a foot of snow out here. It ended up melting a few weeks ago, but it still left behind some really, really cloudy skies. That is until this weekend. I actually have two clear nights and two clear nights only before it clouds over for another month. I plan to shoot the Seagull Nebula. I'm trying to get as much data as possible and I chose the Seagull Nebula because I'll be contending with about 100% full moon. And I think the Seagull Nebula will be far enough away that it won't be messing with my Oxygen 3 data that I get. So hopefully that works out. The equipment I plan to use is my Xenostar Z61 APO refractor. It just has the right field of view that I need to capture this Eagle Nebula. I'm also going to be using my Monochrome 183mm Pro by ZWO. That rhymed. <laughs> I don't have an electronic focuser on my Z61, so I'm going to just use the Batnoff mask that's included with the refractor to manually focus it. And I'll be shooting in full narrowband, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen with a five position electronic filter wheel, also by ZWO. This will all be controlled by the ASI Air Pro, all mounted on the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro equatorial mount. I'll be actually taking you guys on my second imaging night. I really wasn't sure how the first night was gonna go or how the weekend was gonna turn out, but it seems like it's gonna be clear again tonight. I got some really good quality data on the Seagull Nebula, and I'm really excited to take you guys along for this. Also, I'm losing my dark sky sight. Yes, I'm totally losing it. Near the end of summer, I found this sign in the parking lot where I shoot from. It's an abandoned parking lot, and there's these hotels that are coming in here. They're gonna be developing the spot that I actually shoot from, and I've seen them do that over the past few weeks. But when we get there, I'll show you what's happening there. So I guess the only thing we need to do is wait till nightfall and start imaging. Cause even when I wander, I'm keeping you in sight. You're a candle in the window on a cold dark winter's night. Oh man, my camera isn't working. All right, we're here. It's night two for me. And after tonight, the clouds are going to roll back in and I'm not going to see clear skies for probably a month is what it looks like. I'm working with a 90% full moon right now and I got my telescope imaging so the only thing left to do is get as much data as possible. I'm hoping to get at least 8 to 10 hours exposure uh, with the data that I got yesterday and then what I'm getting tonight. And since we're actually here, let me kind of show you what they're doing to my dark sky site. Ghost hunter style. All right, night vision time. All right, so check this out. So remember there used to be a whole bunch of bushes here? It's all cleared out. There's this big mound over there. I don't know what that is. It's super cold, by the way. It's in the 30s. i freezing my butt off, but it's worth it. Got a big John Deere backhoe. And I don't know what this is here. Looks like some staging area. Pretty sad, right? Me losing my dark sky sight here pretty soon. I don't know. Maybe they're just developing the parking lot. It's hard to say. With my luck, they'll be putting like a whole bunch of street lamps in here and I'll have to find another spot. I do have other spots around here, but nothing this good. I mean, this is 360 degree view. So it's gonna be really hard trying to top this area. Kinda sad about it, but 
That's progress. Serious question for y'all. If you found a random banana in your car, would you eat it? Because that's what's happening right now. <laughs> Had to crack the heat on for a minute. It's super cold right now. But regardless, hey, I've needed, I needed these past few nights. I haven't been able to image since Halloween last year. I guess it's technically last year because it's, it's like February right now. So that's been quite some time before I've, you know, since I've been able to image, which is crazy. You start to miss it after a while, you know what I mean? Not only that, but I don't know about you guys, but after a really long session, I feel so much better the next day. Like, I feel so relaxed. I think that's uh, the part of the hobby that, you know, gets overlooked is how relaxed you get because you spend the night under the night sky and it forces you to just relax and slow your life down. I, I think that's what I love about it the most. But I think I'm ranting right now, it sounds like. So, um, yeah. It's a little past 1 a.m. in the morning and the clouds are rolling in right now, so I think I'm gonna pack it in. I think I got at least 10 hours of exposure with tonight and then yesterday's session. Uh, one thing I am hoping for is I got enough oxygen three because I really wanna see that blue in the Seagull Nebula, but I guess we'll see in the morning. But right now, I think I'm gonna go home and pass out, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> All right, it's the next day and it's cloudy like I thought it was going to be, unfortunately. I did stack my data, so let us go and check it out together. Here's my HA that I took and it didn't actually turn out too bad. Uh, I got a lot of details in here and I didn't get the full 10 hours like I wanted to. When I stacked everything combined, I only have like seven hours of data here. I know that's not enough for this target, but let's just kind of check out what I have. Here's my S2, which is super faint, but you can still see the seagull here. I definitely need more integration, integration time. And here's my O3, and it's really subtle. So if I toggle in between the S2 and O3, you can see it kind of come through in this area here. Check it out. So I'm actually super surprised that I got so much O3 with the moon being super bright up there. You know, that those conditions weren't the greatest and I think I'm going to need a little bit more integration time, especially in the O3 channel. And by the look of these stars here, when I stretched it, these subs are totally out of focus. So I'll have to do this over again, but I do like my S2 and O3 data. I'm definitely going to add to this S2 data and maybe take two or three full nights of O3 so I can just get that nice blue in the Seagull Nebula. It's super faint and where the Seagull Nebula is in my area, it kind of lies in the light pollution anyways. So I think I'm going to need more integration time on the O3 channel just being where I'm at. And I think the full moon didn't help either, <laughs> but I just needed to get out. So I don't know when I'm going to have enough time or get another shot at it. I mean, by the time it clears up, I might not even have another chance till next year. So this is turning out to be a multi-year target. And I say that because I did take some HA last year. And what I did was I combined both my HA this year and then last year, and I got this. So there is definitely the signal has improved. So here's my HA that I got last night. And here is it integrated with last year's data. So as you can see, I got a lot more detail in it and it pops out a lot more. Again, I just kind of auto stretched this just to, you know, keep things equal to each other. And it was just kind of fun last night. 
Hopefully I get another shot at this. I wish I had an epic reveal for y'all, but I just don't. But that's astrophotography. Sometimes you just don't get enough data and you just collect more data until you make that photo that you wanted. The neat thing here is I made sure to frame the target in this way because I plan to make another panel uh, because as you can see I kind of cut the wing off on the uh, right hand side of the seagull right here and maybe next year I'll get the other panel to this hopefully this year I'll get the integration time uh, to make this photo and then next year concentrate on the um, other wing of the seagull but that's kind of where I'm at right now well guys I really enjoy these you know type of informal I don't, I don't know if you can call them vlogs or whatever but hanging out with y'all just kind of in this kind of format is really really cool and I hope that I can make more of these as the year goes by because well hopefully because uh, the clouds are going to clear up at some point in time and I'll have clear skies so definitely going to be making more of these. I do have some more product videos coming out for y'all so keep a lookout on that and I guess keep a lookout on that. Uh, keep, <laughs> keep, I mean, is that right? Keep a lookout on that. That doesn't sound right. Maybe I need more coffee. Hold on. And I guess that's it for this one, guys. And I'll see you in the next. Peace. Secret trip. <laughs> <laughs>